program is programmed into many markets. We thank our programmers for making this possible. We invite you to watch now, Cheering Makes School Fun, produced by Jim W. Hawkins, bringing you news of cheerleading, school spirit, and more. Right here on your local cable station. It's produced by Jim W. Hawkins. Give us a call at the number shown on the screen with your ideas. This program brings you news of cheerleaders in front of the camera. Behind the scenes, how they do it. And with faculty members and others that like to get involved in school spirit also. Plus, wonderful citizens like Carol Lee on Amtrak who take their school spirit with them as they go. We give thanks to you for your prayers and supports for this program and invite you to support the program by giving us a call at the number address shown at the beginning of the end of each show. from San Diego High School, home in the Cavers, presenting a special treat for you from the World Fair, put on by Principal Tony Amperon and the ASB and all the clubs involved. Who means some of the people here enjoying the music from San Diego High School, so stay with us. Jim Hawkins from Cheering Makes School Fun. And I wonder, what's with the bright and cheery clothes today? I can't hear you. I said, what's, uh, what, what are you wearing the bright, cheery clothes for today? It looks nice, so I just try it on. Ah, oh, you just get to try it on. What is uh, going on down here at San Diego High today? What's going on at San Diego High today? Oh, I'm not from San Diego High. Oh, you're not? I'm not. <laughs> Where are you from? Okay. Howdy, Jim Hawkins from Cheering Mix School Fun TV Show, and you are? Liliana. And tell me, Liliana, uh, what are you doing with the money box and the uh, pictures and everything? How, what's that for today? The money we are taking is for school to the club for um, La Mujer Latina in Nación. That sounds great. What uh, What's some activities you do once you get the money? What's some activities this money will help uh, the school do? To do more programs, events, and to help the students. Oh, what a fun school. I guess maybe I'll have to turn the clock back to 67 and return here so I can have some more fun in my life. Um, it's like to more people come to the class and invite more people to come to Mujer Latina in Nación. Okay, well thanks for being our guest on Cheering Make School Fun. I say I'm Jim Hawkins from Cheering Make School Fun TV show and I wonder what the, what is uh, it like to be in the JORTC at San Diego High? What life is? I say what is it like? What kind of program do you offer in the JORTC program? Biggest thing is for the kids is what we call self-esteem, so that they can work on themselves and grow up from a kid that's coming to the ninth grade until a young man be graduating or young woman graduating out of high school. It gives them a little bit of sense of responsibility, uh, a lot of citizenship, and preparation for the inevitable, which is the outside world. Great, those are one of the exciting things that's happening here at San Diego High School. Not only today with the world there, but with ROTC, J-O-R-O-T-C, and uh, do you do parades? We do a lot of parades, especially at the beginning of the school year. We get involved with parades for color guards, such as uh, San Diego State University's uh, initial parade at the beginning of the school year. Then we follow up with the Veterans Day Parade and various parades after that throughout the school year for local organizations and programs here in the San Diego City area. Well, I want to thank you for your hard effort on behalf of the students and your great program here at San Diego High. Thank you very much. And from the ROTC to all the students, we thank them all. So what are you cooking today? We're cooking clips. They're really thin pancakes. They're very good. Is that anything to do with the French club particularly? Is that French tree? Um, we, do, we plan trips. We investigate the French culture. It's really interesting.
think you'll raise a lot of money today, so you can have some great activities, maybe a trip to France or something. I think we raised a fair amount of money. Actually, we're raising money for a trip to go to L.A. to the Getty Museum. That's great. I'll have to try one of these. Yeah. Boy, we have an active group here. Boy, we have an active group here. What do you do at San Diego High School? I'm just a student trying to graduate. <laughs> One of the few that's graduating. <laughs> What about you? What do you like to do at San Diego High School? Basketball player. Yeah, I play basketball, but I'm just like her, struggling, trying to get out of high school, trying to go to college. Oh. <laughs> you into sports at San Diego High School? Yeah, I go to San Diego High School. My name is Drew Foster. Uh, I play football and basketball here. Uh, I plan on going to college. Well, I will be going to college, hopefully Oregon University. Um, you know, do my thing, go out there and shine. About three or four years, let's get in the NFL, making millions of dollars. Making millions, you gonna give me some money too. Yeah, man. Send the homegirls out to the game. Yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> I've been so, leaving for the Air off. Force July 5th. We yeah. got it. Okay, well, it's really great to see you guys again. It's been a long time since we've uh, seen you on camera. So good luck with your future endeavors here from San Diego High School. Though. You want to tell us what morph is? What is a morph? What is a morph dance that you're going to have tonight? Morph is uh, prom spelled backwards, and it's everything that prom isn't. It's really tacky, and, and our budget is almost zero. So it's everything the opposite of prom. Well, that sounds exciting. Are you going to have a good turnout? I hope so. I think we're set. we've sold 120 so far, and we'll get some more at the door. Great. We appreciate your effort to help the cavers here at San Diego High School by selling tickets to the more. So what is the key club? A magic uh, club that you get to key, key the key, lock yourself safely in a classroom? Not exactly. Key club stands for Kiwanis Educating Youth. Kiwanis is our sponsoring club. What we do is community service um, throughout the whole year. How did your sales go today at your booth? I'm sorry? How did your sales go today at your booth? Oh, we sold out very quickly. We hit it um, really well for ourselves today. Our president, I believe, is somewhere around here. This is our advisor. She was working the whole time. Hi. Hi. Uh, tell me, how long has Ski Club been around San Diego High? Do you have any idea? They've been at San Diego High, I think, for 54 years now. And uh, I took it over five years ago and it's that's pretty good because the whole club's been around for only 75 and we've been at san diego high for 54. so that's a long time it's nice to keep things like that going uh key club's an international project isn't it so if you go to high schools overseas or someplace like that would you like to find if you went to high school overseas and things yeah, like that it's in 19 you find countries around the world 19 countries it's pretty worldwide um, we actually happen to be in the largest district, <laughs> the largest district in the whole international chain of clubs is the California, Nevada, Hawaii clubs. So it's nice to be part of such a big thing. Well, congratulations on being the advisor of a great club and having a lot of good students you can look back on and say, I knew them when they were a student and look at them today. <laughs> the club them made them way. president. <laughs> And we have another student with us at the World Fair, and she is? Marquita Akron. And tell me, what do you do here at the uh, cave? Hmm? What do you do here at the cave at San Diego High? Everything that's possible. <laughs> what did your booth do today? Oh, we're signing it for yearbook class, trying to raise money to pay off our yearbook funds. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Uh, what are you going to do after you graduate from San Diego High School? I'm going to USC. I'm going to USC. Oh, great. We took a group of fine San Diego High students there on a tour. Um, I think it was about a week ago while the Site 9 students had their uh, testing. And they had some really good recruiters there. Did you get to talk to some of them, or did you make the decisions on your own? Hmm? Did you get to talk to the recruiters out there, or did you make the decisions on your own? I talked there? to some of the recruiters. That's awesome. Okay, well, thanks a lot for helping make San Diego better and showing us a lot of school spirit. Looks like we've spotted a San Diego High caver 
ASB member, right? Right. And what is your position on ASB? In ASB, I'm the freshman class president for this year, and um, it's kind of the same as being an, an active ASB member. Class presidents just have a different agenda to follow. And uh, what is this you're carrying with you? Um, this is our money box for the freshman class um, fundraiser that we're kind of going on right now for World Fair. Um, our country that we chose was Japan, and we tried to do something that was involved with it. We chose um, a bunch of video games to play, because, you know, that's where mo main of the, mostly of, most of the video games come from. And so, right now we're having Mortal Kombat 4. It's a competition where you pay a dollar for admi admission, and then if you win three games, you go to the championship, and then out of that, the champion wins um, around $5. Well, Thank you so much. And thank you for telling us a little bit more about San Diego High and ASB. And so I think why a lot of people say, why do you come all the way from San Diego, Mr. Hawkins, or Jim, as I prefer? Um, um, that's why I say uh, to a lot of people, I come all the way from San Diego to Oceanside every week, or actually it comes to about three times a week now, maybe four times if we get another group started. And um, I enjoy doing it because of the smallness of the congregation. Everyone knows everybody. And they give you that good support. Um, I was wondering, uh, how many people do you think ideally you could get into your youth group? I think if we get enough people to spread the word, we could get roughly 40 to 50 people. That'd be great. We'd love to see it. And um, just uh, in case people are wondering what kind of oddball you are, which I don't think you are, <laughs> uh, what kind of courses are you taking? Um, I am taking English, literature, physiology, economics. I am a teacher's assistant. Uh, I take MCJROTC, honors choir, and ROTC drill. Well, it's great. You're a real asset to our community. And um, a little secret was she didn't get to go to that first dance we talked about a little bit a while ago. And why was that? Uh, my family was moving, so I was trying to help out. <laughs> Family comes first, huh? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, it's been great visiting with you. Would you like to invite the people personally to come join your new group if they happen to be high school age? Okay. You could meet us at 204 South Freeman, and it's for anyone between 9th through 12th grade. We meet every Sunday at 7 o'clock, so I hope to see you there. Okay, well, that sounds really great, and I want to thank you, Nadrina, for being our guest today on Cheering Make School Fun on the portion of the show that talks about youth in the community. So you've seen youth in the community cheering. You've seen youth in the community with uh, church activities. There's a great, both are great ways to be involved in your community. So take it to heart and say yes to doing your best. <laughs>
to thank uh, Miss Davis uh, for doing such a wonderful job on our show. Thank you. And uh, you.